called Blue Lines. It's been a critical and a commercial success, but they've never played live until now, that is.
stage, come on, come on. Please take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Who says that? <laughs> We've never met, I don't think. We've never met. My name's Craig, you're 3D. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya, nice to meet you. It's Dave Fanning. 3D, 3D, that was um, the first time you played live in front of an audience. What was it like? Yeah, it wasn't the first time we played live because uh, we used to do, you know, the Wild Bunch sound system, you know, a long time ago. So, you know, we used to do that sort of thing. Not so much with instruments, with, uh, you know, like jams and parties and things like that. So it was a bit different, but it was enjoyable. Okay, well, what is it about 3D? Or what is it about Massive Attack, I should say, really? Because there's three of you there, and then there's loads of other musicians. So in some ways, it's a bit like Soul to Soul as a collective. What about this posse business? Well, it's more like a puzzle than a posse, really, because it's like, uh, I mean, we, you know, have to, we've got so many different ideas and different concepts that uh, we don't like to restrict ourselves with one idea, like a sound system or a, a group of musicians or, you know, just like a recording outfit or whatever. We like to try as many things as possible without, you know, you know, going too far, obviously. But, uh, so, I mean, it's hard to say exactly what it is. It is a puzzle. So as much to ourselves as to anyone else. OK, well, another puzzle is this. I mean, when we asked you to come on the programme, first of all, you were called Massive Attack. Then it was Massive, and now it's Massive Attack again. What's the story? Well, I mean, the story, everyone knows the story, it's, uh, you know, it was the war and at the time it was the right thing to do to drop the name with uh, what was going on in the world and things are, you know, a lot cooler now, so we put the attack back on the name, that's our name, so we want to reinstate the attack. Okay, and what's this about the Bristol scene? Is it really as good as people say it is and what's happening there? Bristol's, uh, you know, it's just a place like any other, I mean, mostly goes on behind closed doors, you know, I mean, nothing really, really happens on the streets or in the clubs like anywhere else, but I mean, it's just, you know, there's a lot of people working down there, there always has been a lot of artists down there, it's no big deal, seriously. OK, well, listen, I think it's more or less time to move yeah, on. Yeah, I'm all right, sorry, I thought Craig was doing that. Today, he was shaking we've got there some like news a leaf. coming through. I don't know what, which camera we're on. Which camera are we on? Where are we? Where are we? Which camera are we on? I just picked one. Like to tell me. We're on this camera. Hello. We've got some news. It's coming. It's a great coup for us, or a, a big cow if you're not Scottish. The news is that Morrissey has actually agreed to do a live set, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, there are a few conditions involved. Uh, <laughs> Stop moving the telly around your sitting room, I'm not meant to know where you are. Where are you? Look, you're over here. Good, now stay at peace. Morrissey's actually agreed to do a live set, which we have a few conditions. The lights are going to have to come down, and Morrissey wants nobody to look. So if everyone could look the other way, right, everyone look the other way, and we'll have the lights down. And ladies and gentlemen, Morrissey! Yes! Oh dear, Morrissey seems to have a last minute bout of nerves there, unless somebody peaked. Or is it because we got the wrong flowers? Never mind, we're out of time anyway. So join us next week, why don't you, when we've got Sting thumping his tub in his native Newcastle. We've got Wycliffe, we've got Carve, and I think about that. And finally, Dave? Yeah, well, we do have one more live act on TV tonight. This time last year, this guy was busking. Now he's here with us to play, are you ready for Keziah Jones? 